The challenge is, is that most people that need a full mouth reconstruction have a history and that history is either uh, poor hygiene, it's either poor genetics or it's some kind of habit, right? It's, or something is a combat. Sometimes it's a combination of those three, but those are the three that you would, in, you immediately would, would say that's what they have. Many of those things don't change when you go to a all an X solution, right? Those kinds of things oftentimes don't change, right? So what does that mean? Well, if they have poor hygiene and they're just not inclined to pick up a toothbrush, okay? When you give them a prosthesis for an all an X, it would be wise to give them a solution that would be as easy to clean as possible. And when you create an FP1, the intaglio surface undulates, right? Every single implant, every single pontic has an emergence profile on the on the implants and it has an ovate pontic on 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 the on the abut on the pontics themselves have ovate contours. What's the problem with that? Well, how do you keep it clean? You, you know, if you get floss threaders through there, you gotta you gotta go over all the bumps and go into all the cracks and everything. That makes it really challenging for the patient, doesn't it? 